All right, here we go. The Fox News alerts coming your way. The U.S. is suspending all evacuation flights from Kabul's international airport. This comes as video services showing hundreds of people chasing after an American plane. So terrible. This, according to a source, all military and charter flights are grounded until the runway can be clear. My next guest knows all too well the sacrifice on America's longest war. Joining us now are Gold Star mom, Krista Keating, uh, Keating Joseph, a Gold Star dad, David Horton, and a Gold Star husband, Joe Kent, who is running for Congress in Washington. Uh, I just know this has special significance for every American, but especially to you guys. Krista, can I start with you? What are your thoughts at this hour as we watch it all collapse and the Taliban come back? Well, it's horrible because my son, 9-11, uh, I don't know how many people remember 9-11, but thousands of Americans were killed. And that is what motivated my son to want to be a Navy SEAL. And he went in there to do his job, and he did his job. And a matter of fact, because of him and others that have died, uh, he saved a Christian village. He helped those people. He started stabilizing their area. And he, it was in Iraq, but he also, he also did serve in Afghanistan. And it's sad because those Christian families and those mothers are going to lose their children like I did. And it's just as sad. And, um, you know, we need to remember that we could have got, uh, gone out of there and in a better way so that we could have kept that stability to st stabilize the Middle East, really, and save all the Christian families and other freedoms that the women were, were driving. They they're were uh, going to school. The children were going to school. That's not going to happen. It's over for them. It does seem that way. And of course, your, your son is Charlie Keating. Uh, David, with you, you uh, uh, you're a Gold Star dad. Yes, I am. Your thoughts? Uh, which is, well, I, 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 uh, I agree um, with Krista. I, you know, today, our feeling and a, a lot of Gold Star families, the feeling is just sadness. You know, uh, my son went there as, as uh, many others and laid down his life. He gave, it, he gave it all on the battlefield, was killed in action. He was an Army sniper. And, um, you know, Chris was, was fighting for what he believed in, in his heart, uh, pro, uh, to protect our freedoms here. And a lot of people don't recognize that when they think about Afghanistan, that, that um, it, a secure Afghanistan made our nation more secure and made our nation of course. Uh, safer. And um, so we are, you know, we're just sad to, to see this. Uh, I agree. We had to leave, but we didn't have to leave this way and with things in such a disarray. And we have presence in so many different places around the world. Can you imagine if we didn't keep it in South Korea? There would be no South Korea. Imagine if we That's didn't exactly leave it in right. Japan. We'd have no eyes on China at all. Uh, and I appreciate, and so does everyone watching, what your son did. He lost his life September 9, 2011. Uh, yes. Yeah, and his name's Christopher. Uh, Joe Kent, tell me about your wife. Yeah, absolutely. My wife, Shannon Kent, was killed in 2019 fighting ISIS in Syria. The, uh, the parallel here that, that I would make, she was killed a month after President Trump attempted to get our troops out of Syria the first time. And after that, the military industrial complex turned against a duly elected president and conducted slow rolls so that we'd leave our troops in harm's way when they did not have to be, and when we had no clear national security objective, objective to be over there. Less than a month later, she and three other great Americans were killed. And now you look at what's happening in Afghanistan and you think? I think that we had a plan um, to get our troops out in May. President Trump negotiated this deal. We can criticize the deal all day long. The bottom line is we should have been out of Afghanistan a long time ago after bin Laden and his crew crossed the, uh, out of Tora Bora into Pakistan. We changed the mission into nation building. And from there, administration after administration was lied to by the military industrial complex to keep our troops in harm's way. We should have been out in May. Trump tried to get our troops out for all four years of his administration. Biden comes in and in order to not give President Trump a victory by having our troops out in May, he gave the Taliban three months of prime fighting season time to plan this assault. And now we are where we are because once again, the lies and the intelligence failures and also the hubris of the current administration. We need to do everything in our power right now, move heaven and earth, destroy whatever we have to destroy, kill whoever we have to kill to get all of our people out. That needs to be our top priority right now. Right, and including Afghans who are allied to us, and some of them aren't in Kabul yet. But I will say this, if General Austin didn't, couldn't assess the quality of the Afghan army, either he did and Joe Biden ignored it, 
or he can't, and he couldn't even run a boot camp. So I don't know how you become general and can't assess the quality of an army. Krista, a lot of people are saying, wait a second, if we, now that we're out, at least there'll be no more Gold Star families emerging from Afghanistan. What do you say? I say there's going to be a lot more deaths right now because we have Americans there. We have uh, it, translators that helped us, and and they're all they're. I mean, I hope they get out. I hope we send uh, some of the teams in there and get those Americans and those people out that helped us in the beginning because it's not fair that we turn our backs on them at this point. David, you know this because your your son's a military guy. They need yes. leaders. So you could be a great fighter. You need a colonel. You need a captain. We were the colonels and the captains for that army. Right. We left. So they said, I don't know where I'm going. That's, that's right. the simplistic way to say what happened to the, it wasn't 300,000. It was superior numbers, but that's what happened. Yes, that is, what's ha that is what has happened. And um, uh, again, it's just, um, uh, as Krista said, this, this situation has grown more dangerous uh, with every passing hour and um, you know we've again we've got to continue to pay attention to what's going on here and and you know attempt to do something I, I, I you know I, I'm just I almost don't have words to just listen to, uh, to, to see the horror of all this I know I'm seeing 9 11 2001 and you and you see 2011 with your son and finally right. Um, let me just let me just ask you uh, at, at the end here, Joe. When you uh, Joe, when you look at this situation and you find out we suspended flights, so that means there's no evacuation. That means they didn't even plan for the next day. They can't plan plan within one day. What does that tell you about the incompetence of what's going on right now? It's, it's, a, it's an absolute disgrace. We need to get our people out. This just shows, this lack of planning shows that once again, the military industrial complex right now led by someone like Lloyd Austin was completely uh, predict, they were, they were expecting that they could slow roll Joe Biden once more to leave our troops in Afghanistan. Their plan has always been to leave our troops into harm's way and to continue these wars. We need to get out. The day that we leave, the Taliban returns. That has always been the fate of Af Afghanistan. That is the history of that region. It's the graveyard of empires for a reason. It's absolutely ridiculous that we stayed this long. Right now, the priority has to be to get all of our people out, use whatever yeah. force is necessary. I respectfully disagree. I, we need an eye on the terrorist group. That's going to be terrorist university. And now we're not even going to have intelligence there. But I appreciate all you guys, your insight uh, and your sacrifice. And we'll just stand by and watch the horror unfold. Thanks, guys.